In this question on mensuration of shapes, we're told that ABCD is a parallelogram in which the line CD is 7 cm, the line AD is 5 cm, and the angle ADC is 125 degrees. First, we have to illustrate the information in a diagram. I think this is a bit for the examiners to actually ensure that students have some good understanding of how to construct because this is as good as the question which are being asked to construct. But how do we go about solving this particular type of question? First, we need to understand what we are being asked. Here, we are being told that we are working with a parallelogram, alright? So, what is our understanding of how a parallelogram looks? A parallelogram actually has its four sides being parallel two by two to one another. So, this line and this line will be parallel and this line and this line will also be parallel, alright? But here in the question, we are told that, look at this. Um, the line CD is 7 cm, AD is 5 cm, ADC is 125 degrees. As a rule of thumb, even if you look at this and you consider this particular diagram, you can see that the angle that will be greater than 90 is either this one or this one. Any of the two will be suitable for you, okay? So for me, I think I want to pick here. So that means that I will have something like this. I just want to do a rough in which if this is the 125 degrees, ADC means that is the midpoint here. This is D that we are taking the angle. Then we are told that AD is 5 cm and CD is 7 cm. Between these two, which one is longer? You can see that this is the longer one. So this will have to be CD and this will be 7 cm. And here will have to be A so that this is AD and this will be 5 cm. So is the understanding of knowing how a parallelogram looks that we enable you to solve this question wonderfully and correctly like here since i now know this is ad this is cd of course the last vertex will have to be b so i've drawn my parallelogram a b c d as requested so this is my rough i'm still going to construct it correctly and i can just say i want to clear the board and now i can just correctly represent the diagram just like this i have this line i have this line I have this line, just some pictorial view or something at least that will make sense and I will need to show that this line is parallel to this line. And this line is parallel to this line. I got this to be D in which here is angle. 125 degrees this is a so that ad is 5 centimeters and then this is c so that cd is 7 centimeters and finally the last vertex is b so this is the first solution that we're asked to find that will illustrate the information in a diagram now we well, to find correct to one decimal place, the area of this parallelogram. And what is the formula for the area of a parallelogram? The area of a parallelogram is given by the product of the base multiplied by the perpendicular height. Okay, so this height is not this length height. We need to find we need to look for a means to find the perpendicular height here. Okay, and that perpendicular height by reason of its definition. It has to be at right angle to the base, and so this is the H that we need to multiply by. In this particular case, 7 centimeters is the base. So, how do you find the value for the height? That's the first task that is also confronting us like this. Now, there are two particular ways. We can actually evaluate it from here to try and find this particular angle and then sort it out. Or, we can actually bring it here, which is what I want to do. I can just say here. Yeah, this is also going to be my height, okay? And I want to show you just a beautiful symmetry that is going to be here. Now, this angle at D were given to be 125, but already I'm saying that I'm looking for a right angle here. So if I take 90, which is a right angle, out of 125, this is going to remain 35, okay? So looking at this particular shape, if I call this O, 
I can say from triangle triangle ODA, which is something that I have like this. Okay, so this is also 90, and this is 35. This is H, and this is 5. Now, this is the angle that I'm considering at D is 35. This is O, this is A. This 5 will happen to be the hypotenuse. Okay, because it's the side facing the right angle, and it's also the longest side. And then H is the adjacent. So, my question is, what is the formula that is relating the adjacent and the hypotenuse for a right angle triangle? Recall, we are actually going to make use of Sokatua. So, we are looking for what is relating the adjacent and the hypotenuse. And you can see it is cos. So, from here, I can say cos 35, which is nothing but adjacent over hypotenuse is going to give me the adjacent is h that we are looking for and the hypotenuse is 5 such that h will be 5 cos 35 degrees and if i bring in my calculator to evaluate that i can say 5 cos 35 what is that going to give me 4.09576 or 4.096 so this is 4.096 centimeters, all right? But nobody asks us to find the height. We actually ask to find the area. So since I now know the height, I can say the area of the parallelogram is the base, which is 7 centimeters, multiplied by the height, which is 4.096 centimeters. And if I'm going to evaluate that, I can say... That's the last answer that I just got, multiplied by 7, and that's going to give me 28.67, that's 28.67 centimeters square. But look at what we're asked to find. We're asked to find correct to one decimal place, so this is approximately equal to, you want to put this to one decimal place, that means only one number, only one digit will reflect after the decimal place. So we'll take 7 and round it up. Numbers within from 0 to 4 are rounded down to 0, but from 5 to 9, they are rounded up to 1 and added to the initial number. So 7 will be rounded up to 1, and when we add that 1 to 6, this is become 7. So we have 28.7 cm square as the area of the parallelogram that we are given here. So alternatively, we could have said that looking at this particular H in blue, you can say that. 125 plus this angle here, if I call this theta, the two of them, they are actually supplementary. They will add up to 180 degrees. So, this will be 180 minus 125, so it will be 55. Then we can also use Sokatua to find, because this is also 5, this is 5 cm. And no, so now we have the hypotenuse, which is 5 cm. And we are looking for the opposite. So, instead of using cos, we will now be using of sine which is opposite of hypotenuse and we'll still find the value of h to be 4.096 and then we can multiply the areas to be 7 times 4.096 and still arrive at the same answer as 28.7 centimeter square all right